In the book of Proverbs chapter 18, verse 22, Proverbs chapter 18, verse 22, the Bible says, Whoso findeth a wife, findeth a good thing, and obtaineth favor of the Lord. Whoso findeth a wife, findeth a good thing, and obtaineth favor of the Lord. I pray for you today, as you are searching for a good man, as you are searching for a good husband, I pray, may you find the right person in Jesus' name. Close your eyes. Shout this prayer point loud and clear. Say, anointed to overcome marital fears. Fall upon me now. In the name of Jesus. Anointed to overcome marital fears. Fall upon me now. In the name of Jesus. Anointed to overcome marital fears. Fall upon me now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's topic is dream of seeing your future husband. Dream of seeing your future husband. Are you a single woman or a married woman? Did you frequently see your future husband in the dream? Do you frequently see yourself meeting or connecting to a man who's supposed to be your future husband, who's supposed to be somebody that you like, somebody you like to spend your life with? If yes, then we shall tell you the interpretation and the spiritual meaning of a future husband in the dream. To see your future husband in the dream is a sign of joy, happiness, connection, success, and divine favor. It shows that God is about to bring a wonderful man into your life that will soon marry you. Say amen. This dream may also signify that you will get to know something very important about this future husband, about this particular man. It could be about his work, it could be about his family, it could be about his interests, or many other things. If you see your future husband in your dream as a woman, then that could be the type of man God is showing you or God is asking you to marry. Or it could even be a reflection of the type of man you wish to take as your future husband in the waking life. For example, if you always love to marry a handsome and a wealthy man as a woman, then go for this type of qualities in a man. Because you as a person, you as a woman, you love this handsome man, you love this wealthy man. The moment you find yourself getting married to a ugly person, it may affect the joy and the peace of your marriage. So go for what you like. If you love a God-fearing man to be your husband, then this dream is telling you that it's only the God-fearing husband, it is only the God-fearing man that can give you that satisfaction you desire. Hence, you should go for a humble man. If you love your future husband to be a responsible person, then ask God to connect you with a similar interest with this person. If you are a single woman currently in a relationship, then this dream shows that the man in your life is fully committed to you, is fully committed in that relationship. Do not break up with that man. Pray, and the Lord Almighty shall lead you aright. If you're a married woman, this dream symbolizes better times in your marriage to come. It's possible that this dream is a sign that your expectation in prayers shall soon be granted in Jesus' name. In Song of Solomon chapter 3, verse 4, Song of Solomon chapter 3, verse 4, the Bible says, I have found the one whom my soul loves. To see your future spouse will smile in a dream. If you are a single woman, it may be a sign that God is interested in joining you together with your future husband, with your future man you are seeing in that dream. Now, you are in a relationship and you are single and you are seeing yourself, you know, connecting with this man in the dream. This is not a, a, spirit, a spirit husband. It's a way of God telling you that he's trying to connect you with a man very soon. Maybe you are in a relationship. Or maybe a man is trying to, you know, propose to you, trying to ask for your hand in marriage. This type of dream is a confirmation that that proposal shall go on well in Jesus' name. Similarly, this type of dream may also stand as a sign for you as a woman to exhibit good character as a daughter of Zion, like humility, gentleness, patience, love, kindness, forgiveness, and tolerance, because these are some of the qualities that can guarantee you a good and a lasting marriage. And these are some of the things that a man will always see to judge if you are a good person or a bad woman. I pray the bad spirit in you shall disappear during and after your marriage in Jesus' name. Are you currently planning marriage with your spouse in the waking life? If yes, then this dream is telling you to love and strengthen each other in your relationship as you make that plans to marry. In some other cases, Dream of meeting your future husband 
means you also connect with an important person in your life that will make you happy, that will make you joyful. It could be a man, it could be a woman, it could be your boyfriend, your fiance, it could be somebody you don't know. That person may come, you know, and hand you, you know, with a surprise gift. And with that, you, you know, you'll be very happy and uh, you'll be full of joy and so shall it be in Jesus' name. The Lord shall send a good man towards you in Jesus' name. Seeing your future husband in the dream, likewise, could also indicate that your goal in life will be achievable. As a woman, say amen. Your plans and your dreams are very possible to get if only you don't give up working towards it and praying harder. If your future husband hugs you in that dream, then it suggests happiness, joy, peace, protection and satisfaction to come. But if your future husband in that dream refuses to give you a good look, then it means your man is unhappy with you. The man is angry with you. The man is taking a second thought about you. Maybe he's trying to move away from you. God forbid. This may affect your chances of getting married to him or of him getting married to you. You need to pray against disappointment at the edge of betrayal. But if you are feeling happy while seeing this man in your dream, then it means you'll be successful in your pursuit, your marriage, your relationship shall go on as planned in Jesus' name. May God grant your heart desires and help you to smooth run your marital plans in Jesus' name. Instruction, embark on three days fasting and prayers from 6 a.m. 6 p.m. Bible references, 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 11, Proverbs 3, verse 3 to 4, Proverbs 16, verse 3, Proverbs 18, verse 22, and lastly, Proverbs 3, verse 13 to 18. Close your eyes. Take this prayer upon loud and clear. Say, O oh God, my Father, show me my future husband in the name of Jesus. O oh God, my Father, show me my future husband in the name of Jesus. O oh God, my Father, show me my future husband in the name of Jesus. O oh God, my Father, show me my future husband in Jesus' name. So, O oh God, my Father, connect to the right person maritally in the name of Jesus. O oh God, my Father, connect to the right person maritally. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, my Father, connect to the right person maritally in Jesus' name. Say, any power that wants me to marry the wrong person, die in the name of Jesus. Any power that wants me to marry the wrong person, die in the name of Jesus. Any power that wants me to marry the wrong person, die in Jesus' name. Say, marine powers attacking my future spouse, die in the name of Jesus. Marine powers attacking my future spouse, die in Jesus' name. Say, whether the devil likes it or not, my marriage shall not scatter. In the name of Jesus, whether the devil likes it or not, my marriage shall not scatter. My marriage shall not scatter. My marriage shall not scatter. My marriage shall be peaceful. My marriage shall be joyful. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If this broadcast has blessed you, share it to your friends and family. Once again, this is Evangelist Joshua from Lagos. Remain blessed.